Hey everyone, welcome back to Healthcare Tales. Our most popular video by far is our medical abbreviation video. So we're going to be making a second one because there are so many abbreviations out there. Check out the original one right here if you haven't seen it yet. But as for this one, let's begin. The first abbreviation is an MRP. This is the most responsible physician. When you are admitted to a hospital, there is one doctor that is responsible for you in particular. It could be your family doctor or it could be a doctor assigned to you by the hospital, just depending on the system in place. But this doctor can make referrals to other specialists for you to see, but they are your most responsible doctor. The MD is a medical doctor, so any doctor of medicine in particular. OT stands for occupational therapist and PT stands for physiotherapist. They're both specialties in movement and uh, work closely together most often and are referred together most often as well. RT stands for respiratory therapist and they deal completely with the respiratory system. Quite uh, educated people and quite smart. SLP is speech language pathologist and they deal with swallowing and speech problems. RD stands for registered dietitian. An RN is a registered nurse. NP stands for nurse practitioner. Nurse practitioners are RNs who have an extended class license, so they are able to prescribe medications and have more to their scope of practice. They have additional training. ER is the emergency room. OR is the operating room. ICU is the intensive care unit, also known as CCU or critical care unit. They're sort of used interchangeably, but the sickest of the sick people go to ICU or CCU and it's usually one-on-one -on -one care with a registered nurse. DI stands for diagnostic imaging, and that's where people go to get CAT scans, x-rays, and different tests like that. Now this is a W with a little I on it, and that actually stands for with. This triangle stands for change, and DSG stands for dressing. So often you'll see a triangle, so change, dressing, sort of thing like that. DAT stands for diet as tolerated, when people are admitted to a hospital, a physician actually has to order their meal based on different tests or whatever's going wrong with them. They might have to have a special diet. So diet is tolerated is a diet with no restrictions, pretty much. AAT is activity as tolerated. It sort of goes the same with diet as tolerated, so you can move as you can. WBAT is weight bear as tolerated. This could be seen with a fracture, so they're not going to restrict you what you can do with that uh, fractured leg or the cast, but you can put weight on it as you feel fit. And ADLs, your activity of daily living, so brushing your teeth, cleaning yourself, shaving, all that sort of stuff. SOBOE, shortness of breath on exertion. The last video we did SOB, shortness of breath. Now this one is an additional OE at the end on exertion. So when people are up and walking around, they're short of breath, but if they're in bed, they're fine. CBC is a complete blood count. This is the very common lab value that's drawn. Lights is electrolytes, and these are also very common. CR is creatinine, and it's a value that reflects the kidney function. BUN is blood, urea, nitrogen, and it also reflects kidney function as well. They're often ordered together, creatinine and bun. CNS, culture and sensitivity, RNM, routine and microscopic, and both of these are often ordered for uh, urinary tract infections when uh, they suspect that. They're definitely seen hand in hand and they're used to diagnose and figure out what uh, antibiotic to use to actually treat it. Now ONP is the opposite. It's uh, ova and parasite and it's actually for stool. If they're suspecting that the person has a bacteria or a, sorry a parasite that is uh, in the digestive tract this figures out to see if it's present and uh, what type it is so they can treat it accordingly and the last few here we have abg which is arterial blood gases these are extremely important in diagnosing various uh, problems with ph balance mvc motorized vehicle collision so a car crash uh, definitely seen in the emergency room CVA stands for cerebrovascular accident, also known as a stroke. TIA, transient ischemic attack. A lot of people know them as a mini stroke. And the last one is MI, or myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack. Thanks a lot for watching and we hope you learned something. If you want to see a medical abbreviation part 3, give us a like. Or if you liked the video, like it anyway. 
if you want us to do a video on a certain subject, maybe something that we covered in here but didn't go in depth on, then let us know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, share on social media, but most importantly, have a great day.